The Fairchild XC-120 pack plane represented aviation's most ambitious attempt to revolutionize military cargo transport through modular design. First flying on August 11, 1950, this experimental aircraft emerged from Fairchild Aircraft Corporation's radical solution to time-consuming loading procedures that plagued heavy military transports. The XC-20's revolutionary concept, centered on detachable cargo pods, suspended beneath the aircraft rather than internal compartments. Built from a modified C-119B flying boxcar fuselage, serial 10312, engineers cut away sections below the flight deck, raised the fuselage several feet, and installed a sophisticated four-point landing gear system that could raise and lower to facilitate pod loading. The aircraft retained the twin-boom configuration, powered by two Pratt & Whitney R4360 WASP major engines, producing 3,250 horsepower each. These 28-cylinder radial engines provided substantial power for the 33.75-ton maximum takeoff weight. The detachable cargo pod measured 25.25 meters overall length, featuring streamlined fairings that split open for cargo access. The rectangular cross-section maximized internal volume at 76.45 cubic meters, though payload capacity was limited to 9 tons versus the C-119's 12.5 tons. Electric winches with remote control managed pod attachment through spherical mounting points and reinforced connections. Specialized pods could house 65 fully equipped paratroopers, medical facilities, mobile command centers, or various cargo configurations. Aircraft could drop loaded pods, collect pre-positioned pods, and continue missions with minimal ground time. Following extensive manufacturer testing throughout 1950, including airshow demonstrations, the prototype transferred to Eglin Air Force Base, Florida, in 1951 for military evaluation. Flight testing revealed performance nearly identical to the standard C-119, maximum speeds of 476 km per hour, cruising speeds around 340 km per hour, service ceiling of 6,700 meters and range of 3,700 km. Military evaluators acknowledged rapid pod exchange capability as advantageous but identified critical shortcomings, reduced payload capacity, complex mechanical systems, and numerous unproven components raising operational reliability concerns. In 1952, the Pentagon rejected the XC-120 for production, designating it too complex for practical military service. The planned production designation C-128 was never used, and the sole prototype was eventually scrapped. The XC-120's failure reflected military preference for proven designs over innovative complexity during the early Cold War. However, the modular transport concept influenced subsequent aircraft development and demonstrated potential for radical departures from conventional cargo aircraft design. Today, the XC-120 pack plane stands as a fascinating footnote in aviation history, representing the bold experimental spirit of 1950s aircraft development and the constant push toward operational efficiency driving aerospace innovation.